Mr. Williams and I have both missed seeing you and worshiping with you in Noah's neighborhood. We hope to see you when the church begins worshiping together in the sanctuary on April 11th. But until then, here's another story for you. It's about Jesus, his resurrection, and his appearance to Mary Magdalene, one of his most beloved disciples. This Sunday is Easter, the day when we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died and God made him alive again. This is a tomb. It's a special place for the dead. When Jesus died, his friends took his body from the cross and put it here. They rolled a huge stone in front to close it. Mary Magdalene loved Jesus very much. So early Sunday morning, Mary and her friends went back to the tomb. The tomb was open. Jesus was gone. Where is he? they cried. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. Be joyful. Jesus is alive. Go, tell the disciples. Jesus is risen from the dead. But Mary Magdalene would not leave. She stood crying. Then someone said, Who are you looking for? And he called her by name. Mary! She knew the sound of his voice. It was Jesus. Jesus was alive. Mary Magdalene was so happy she couldn't help but tell Jesus' friends. I have seen the Lord. Jesus is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. I wonder what it was like to be going to Jesus' tomb that Sunday morning. I wonder how Mary felt when Jesus died. I wonder what it feels like when someone or something you love dies. I wonder how Mary felt when Jesus' body was not in the tomb. I wonder what it was like to hear Jesus is alive, Jesus is risen. I wonder how Mary knew this person was Jesus. I wonder how Mary felt when Jesus called her by name. I wonder what it felt like to tell others that Jesus is risen. I wonder how we can know that Jesus is alive. I hope you enjoyed the story. It's one of my favorites because it starts off very sad. But in the end, it's filled with hope and joy. So as you go, we pray that as the people of God move from sadness to joy and hope this Holy Week, that each of you will feel the light and love of God within you and all around you. God be with you. Go in peace.